We come now to verse 44 of the seventh chapter of the Gospel of John. We have Jesus on the closing day of the Feast of Tabernacles with a divided crowd. Of course, people have rather uh, widely differences of opinion regarding, regarding Christ. And this, of course, includes the religious leaders who were there as well, but even among the crowd. There are those who certainly are uh, convinced that he must be who he claims to be. Some identify him with the prophet predicted by Moses. Some identify him with the Christ, but there's confusion as to the origins of Jesus. Was he from Bethlehem as the Messiah was supposed to be? And all of this confusion is, of course, giving rise to a fair amount of uh, dissension among the people. And uh, we've just read that there was a, a schism, a, a division among the people as to what to make of him. And John extends now the description of that uh, division of, the, of opinion as we come to verse 44 in which he says tenes. Uh, this is from the indefinite pronoun and it usually is translated someone or something in the plural. Uh, we would just render it some, some of them you might say and uh, of them is really here. So we have eggs out tone, uh, egg from uh, or eggs from the uh, preposition ek takes the genitive as we find it here, so some of them, and then the postpositive uh, soft conjunction, but, but some of them, and then athelone. This is from thelo, it means I wish or I want. In this case, it's describing these people, some of them. It's the uh, third person plural imperfect active indicative, so some of them were wanting or were wishing. Uh, usually takes the infinitive, as we find here, piazzai, from piazzo to uh, literally to squeeze. It usually was used idiomatically to take someone, as in to arrest them or detain them, take them into custody, that sort of idea. Some of them, that is some of the crowd, as John tells it, were wishing or were wanting to seize him, to take him, uh, more or less to put him under arrest. They would be in sympathy with the religious leaders who had the same uh, general desire all from Allah contracted before a vowel. So this is the uh, hard conjunction, but uh, standing for a str strong contrast, but no one, the adjective, uh, no one or nothing, in this case it's the um, uh, masculine, singular nominative, but no one, epibalen, from epibalo. Uh, epibalo, balo of course means to cast. Epibalo would be to cast upon, literally, and uh, it had idiomatically the idea of to lay hands on, uh, to take someone, as it were, by force, or to lay hands on them, really more is the idea by force. This is the third person singular, uh, second aorist active indicative, so no one was uh, laying hands and then uh, repeating the epi preposition here uh, with the accusative, so no one was laying upon him as the idea, toss kairos, the hands. No one was laying the hands upon him. So there were those who were actually inclined to try to take him, to arrest him, to get him out of the picture, to neutralize him. But no one apparently dared, apparently had the, uh, uh, the courage to actually take such action. No one laid their hands upon him. Uh, something of Jesus' presence, something of his character and his commanding, forceful personality prevented anyone from actually making a move in spite of the fact that there were those who had such a disposition toward him.